What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about mastering the art of going downwind. One, three, five, go! Uh, coming from the wild, wild west indeed. Okay, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what am I talking about? No one wants to go downwind when you're kiteboarding. Well, that's somewhat true. But what I'm referring to is when you want a downwinder. So when you want to go miles downwind and you want to just be super efficient at going downwind, today I'm going to touch on two tips that will make that a lot easier and allow you to really be in control of how fast or how slow you go downwind. Woo. Okay, so tip number one is riding toe side and doing carving turns. As simple as that sounds, if you can get these dialed, you're going to be a lot more efficient at going downwind. Okay, so riding toe side is super straightforward. You're basically just switching from your heels to your toes, trying to stay kind of above your board and kind of leaning on your toes a little bit. It may take a little while to get used to just riding with the opposite foot in front, but it's super important to get this dialed in because as you can see here, I'm riding heel side and my line is pretty much across the wind. But as soon as I switch to toe side, my line is much more downwind, which means this is a really comfortable stance to be efficient at going downwind. And once you've gotten used to riding toe side, we want to start doing some carbon turns, which you can see right here. I'm just doing a transition with my kite, locking my heels, and kicking up a nice little spray. Okay, and once you got step one down, next up is down loop. And this is kind of a big step because it's going to be your first kite loop probably, but it's a huge step because once you master this, you're going to be really efficient at speeding up how fast you go down with. So as you can see here, I'm popping it to toe side. I'm basically combining a carving transition with a down loop transition. So to do a down loop, we're coming in toe side and key thing is to keep a lot of pressure on our front hand. So we do a full kite loop and we do a down loop transition. Coming in again, here we go. We're gonna switch to toe side, boom. Keep good pressure on our front hand until the kite loops all the way around. And if you've never done any sort of kite loops before, it's going to take you a while to get used to committing to a loop. So you're going to have times where you crash your kite like this, and then there's going to be times where you come in and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Oh, no, didn't commit enough, and I crashed my kite. The key thing is to come in, switch toe side, kind of point towards your kite, and really apply a lot of pressure on your front hand, so the kite does a full loop, and you're good to go. And here you can see my body position. So for the down loops, um, with your board, it's pretty much identical to a carving transition, but only difference is you're not being as aggressive on your heels. So as you can see, I'm initiating the loop, a little bit of pressure on my heels just so I don't get pulled over my toes. And as the kite does a full loop, fully lock my heels, lock into that power, and complete my transition. Okay, and once you've mastered down loops, riding toe side, carving turns, you can start getting super kind of advanced and doing something called S loops, which is where you're kind of linking down loops together. So you're just like continuously looping the kite down, back, down, back, down, back until you kind of get down into where you want to be. So here we go, S loops. Basically, you're just doing a down loop and then you're linking together another down loop and you just keep doing this until you end up wherever you want to be. It will take a while to get used to kind of linking these loops because you're going to get power, then you're going to lose power. But once you get these dialed in, it's super powerful because you can really bomb down with. So as you can see here coming in, boom, first down loop get, gets me going down wind, second one keeps me going down wind. And if I just keep doing this, you notice my line goes from being across the wind to straight at the beach. So this is a super useful step to learn if you want to get good at bombing down wind. Okay guys, so once you get these three things mastered, riding toe side, carving turns, down loops, and then even some S loops, you're gonna be way more efficient at going downwind. It's kind of crazy how these little tips make a huge difference versus just tacking back and forth heel side all day. That's great for if you wanna go upwind or just a little bit downwind, but when you're on a downwinder, you're gonna have to use these tips to really speed up the process and get to where you wanna be a lot faster and also with a lot more fun. Okay guys, so once you've mastered these tips, it's pretty much back to enjoying your session. Busting some grabs, doing some front rolls, and just enjoying not having to stress about going back up with. But here's a funny story on how this video actually came about. I ended up going on a downwind with my lovely girlfriend Megan. 
was at the stage where she was having a lot of fun with kiting, doing back rolls and little tricks here and there, but she had no idea about these downwinder tips. So we ended up doing a downwinder, everyone's doing their thing, and she ended up being at the back of the pack, and she really struggled with keeping up with the rest of the crew. Hey! How are you doing, girl? No? And that's what sparked the idea for this video, because not only is it going to help her out, but it's definitely going to help out a lot of you guys as well. Okay guys, Woo! <laughs> that's it for today's video. Whoa. Hopefully these tips help you, you know, when you're on your next downwinder. If they did, feel free to leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and also check out my Patreon page, which gives you guys a quick and easy way to help fund these trick tip videos. So if you found some serious value in it, check out the link in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Big ups. Oh, sinking.